Hello everyone, this is Yesa and welcome to my channel Creating Awareness and um, I believe you are here not by chance, by coincidence or by accident or by happenstance. I believe you are here for a greater reason, for a greater purpose and I believe that you needed to hear the message that I'm going to share with you in this channel. Feel, feel free to browse or to watch my videos. I have lots of videos on different topics topics most of the topics really are my personal experiences in as i've said in my hope that it will help you also in your life's journey so for today i want to share with you a the questions that i got from a newfound friend dalton from texas hello there um, i have asked him to that i that i will be using his questions to make a video uh, because i want i i believe that uh, the questions that he's asking are also maybe uh, some of you also were asking about these questions so and you might wonder why I am speaking in English because, of course, for the sake of my friend Dalton and for other friends out there who cannot understand my um, native language. Anyway, I hope I will not know split here. <laughs> okay, kidding aside, um, as I've said, the questions that he was asking during our chat, um, I, I think it's really important also or it, to share because uh, it's really um, uh, somehow it will open our mind to uh, you know to the answers to these questions okay so let me just have this disclaimer before I proceed reading the questions um, please do not believe or accept whatever it is I am saying here but rather see for yourself if what I say here is true for you or not Okay, because I'm not here to convince you to uh, believe me or to convert you to what I am believing. I'm not here for that. I'm he just here to share whatever it is that I think is good for me or that has helped me in my life. That is really my goal, my purpose of, of sharing this video with you. Okay, okay, so here it is. Okay, I ask you a question. What was the most profound discovery that made you totally put your faith in God? I don't judge you at all for your beliefs, um, so I hope I don't come across that way. I'm genuinely curious in your personal beliefs. Okay, so his question was, what was the most profound discovery that made you totally put your faith in God? So Okay, for those of you who knew me personally, personally, you know that I am a pastor's kid. So uh, basically, I got my beliefs, or I was influenced by the, by of course what my father is believing, what I have read from the Bible. Okay, and but growing up, to be honest, I have a lot of questions in mind. I have lots of questions. Is there really God? And if God is there, why? why do i have to um, encounter this pain why do i have to suffer why do i have to you know have this kind of, of struggles in life so i have lots of questions and then these questions actually brought me to my understanding and because also of my experiences um, it brought me to the um, discovery of that really for me I really believe I I just know it in my heart that there is this someone um, um, greater than me but the good thing about now compared before okay okay this is the difference before I thought of a God that is up there in heaven <laughs> like watching and, and, and watching me uh, living my life here on earth and then you know uh, a God who will punish me if I do something, you know, bad. But it was, but it's not that now. I don't believe in that God that I believed before. Okay, I hope you are getting me. Now I believe that God is within me. That God, that I can never be apart from Him. As I said on my previous videos, uh, this is very um, good to share this kind of 
concept like God is the ocean and we are the waves. So the waves can never be apart from the ocean, neither the ocean cannot be apart from the waves because each is a because it's just one, okay? So I I believe in that right now, and I um because as I said, I have these questions in mind, and I have I have also read that it says if you don't question your beliefs, you are questionable. Because in the first place, why do you believe in it, right? I mean, why do you believe? what you are believing right now is it because your father said so the bible said so the quran the uh, whatever it is that you are believing so as you can see in in this world we have different beliefs and to be honest because of you know some people wanted to convince other people that this is this is what you should believe in that my god is the true god your god is not and or yeah uh, our religion is the best or the true only true religion that other religions are not good or you are all gonna go to hell only our religion will you see I, I know you know what I am saying because of these religious beliefs that we have it creates barriers it creates war come to think of it <laughs> so here it is uh, I will say this again why do you believe what you are believing right now why do you believe that okay and and, and why are you so insistent of telling the people to believe what you are believing? And sometimes we even get angry. As I said, you know, some people kill other people if they don't believe what they are believing. But maybe we just don't get the message that God wants us to, you know, to understand that we are just one. Why we should... Um, it's like it's totally okay what you are believing then go ahead believe what you want to believe because that's your belief but do not try to convince other people to believe what you are believing because i believe we have lots of belief words here <laughs> i believe that god is here for the experience and it is that way that we have different religious we have different beliefs you know why because we have different perspective we have for each and every one of us we we see things differently so sometimes i see it as good and you th see it as bad i see it as beautiful but others see see it as not beautiful or ugly right so we have so there is no point that we will convince other people to see what we wanted to them to see because they have different eyes they have different perspectives so there's no point of you know wasting your energy to tell other people to believe what you are believing okay that's just my point my point is we can live a happily ever after life or we can live blissfully should we stop convincing other people to believe what we are believing we're not here to convince other people to believe what we are believing but we are here to experience and enjoy life and have fun and and experience as uh, experience god as we are okay so we we are here to express divinity to express who we really are okay we are not here to convince other people to copy us to believe in us because that that's really you know um waste of time waste of energy okay might as well focus on what you are believing so yeah that is the first question i think i talk a lot <laughs> and let's go to the second one um okay the second question he said what kind of life did you live before you made different and more awareness decisions? Whoa, I can really tell you that my life is totally 180 degrees turned now. That's why I, that's that's the really very reason why I'm sharing with you my experiences because even me I was amazed like what happened 
happened? What has transpired? Why I have this awareness or I mean why I have this um, understanding about life now than before? Why I am feeling this bliss, this happiness? I did, I'm not like this before. I, Of course I am a positive person but I used to have to feel negative emotion and I used to feel you know I beat up on myself of feeling negative emotion but now I got to enjoy and embrace even the problems the negative emotions the contrast that is going on in my life I am I am enjoying everything I am enjoying every bit of my journey here and it's such a wonderful feeling it's such a how can I say it? <laughs> I cannot find words to express how wonderful it is to live without stress, without thinking of those problems. But the problems did exist, but I don't think of them anymore at all. Okay, so yeah, that's basically the reason why I'm sharing, you know, videos here in my hope that, you know, it will also help you or somehow, you know, have this um bliss but i know of course i know you will arrive there um it's just a matter of time you uh, because god can never be mistaken in each and everyone's lives that's what also i am believing that we it can never be i mean god can never be mistaken in each and everyone's lives even to the lives of those you know serial killers or whatever <laughs> okay in each and everyone's lives in this planet it can never be mistaken so we will all arrive to our you know understanding to all to our awareness of who we really are okay so yeah as i said before i used to um think different things or i i in, in a day i i cannot you know manage my emotion and i live a life of you know i also live a life of in in the blame game like i blame the government the, the the weather the my partner or everyone else around me except myself so but now i am not living that way i believe i now know that i create my own reality so whatever happens in my life i take full responsibility i don't go and blame anyone or everybody around me uh if there is something going wrong even the what, whatever it is that is going wrong in the world, I believe that I have created it. I have somehow co-created it, even this COVID thing. Okay, so that's what I, uh, that's the shift. So there's a lot of things, um, a lot of shift that has happened in my life. And, um, and um, you can see uh, my other videos uh, in this channel you can check there I have shared with you how did I you know shift from you know very problematic but now I can say that oh um, you can really uh, it's just really a matter of perspective that it is really possible to live blissfully to have heaven here on earth because when do you want then to you know enjoy life and, and to experience heaven of course this in this physical world in this physical reality that have this physical experience that we are experiencing if we are dead because we're not physical anymore okay now another question he has what do you mean you spend your time inward i like the sound of that it sounds like you were exploring your consciousness okay so because i told him that um, instead of going outside, blaming other people or, or looking for an answers outside, I go from within. I spend time to meditate, to talk to my inner being, to God, to source, whatever you call it. So like I, I've been doing this for I think almost three years already and I'm loving it and I, I'm intending to continue doing this like every day uh, actually 2019 i started waking up like very early in the morning in the dawn like 3 a.m or 4 a.m i really wake up like that at that time and and spend most of um spend the first 30 minutes or or one hour of my time 
spending it inward or, or, or you know talking to myself talking to my inner self to god to my inner being and what makes the difference also before i used to have this prayer um uh, lord please give me this and that and and i have this problem blah 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 i i know you can relate with me i have all these prayers and most of the prayers are you know asking god to help me with this situation and that but to tell you honestly these days i don't pray that at all I'm just thanking God. I'm just saying thank you for this life, for this experience. Thank you. All my prayers are just thank you prayers. I don't ask at, at all because I know it is already provided. It is already given that He will provide my needs and everything. So I don't worry at all. I don't ask for, you know, please provide this and, and that. I just say Thank you, thank you. My prayers are just thank you, thank you. And I kept on. I always um, make the intention to set time to meditate, to quiet my mind. Because our mind keeps on, you know, thinking different things, you know, a lot of things. So um, I, I quiet my mind every day for at least 15 minutes. Sometimes I go 30 minutes and it has really helped a lot that i am more calm to um i that i have i don't feel stress at all when i when i started meditating that is really um i can say my top recommendation to all of you to try meditating to try to stop your mind from thinking it's just that meditation is just stopping your mind from thinking because most of the stress we have is overthinking right <laughs> okay we always keep on thinking on the, on the things that are not yet happening or oh, maybe like this and that okay <laughs> and it's just it's draining our energy and it shifts our focus to the things that we don't want to happen. We kept on thinking on the things that we don't want to happen. And that's why it happens. <laughs> Have you ever asked yourself why those things that we don't want to happen happened in our lives? It is because we kept on thinking about it. Our focus is there. We have this, you know, overthinking. And basically, that's the reason why it's happening in our lives. So I stopped doing that. I purposely intentionally do my life or, or or live my life every day i don't live by default now that's another thing i live by intention with a purpose that in today i'm gonna live my life happily ever after i'm just gonna have fun whatever it is that comes along my way that is my goal and my mantra every day <laughs> okay now let's go to his another question i was wondering with all the bliss that you have in your life are you at the point where you are content with life or do you desire something more from it okay this is a nice question because like when you say you are so happy or so you're living in bliss can uh, do i still have these dreams desires of course it cannot be not be okay as a human being it is like our nature to have this desire these dreams because there is no completion have you ever wondered like if you have this but you still want another thing because that's the way it is it's never ending and and it is actually helping the world or to be what wherever we are right now because of our dreams because of our desires okay so it's actually very helpful to have these dreams and desires but this is the difference okay I'll tell you the difference before I used to have this thinking oh if I have this desire of having you know of course we all want this one a wonderful house beautiful cars and travel around the world you know those wonderful things to buy those things that we want to buy and yeah those uh, material things that we want and i still have those desires now those goals now but the difference is 
before I thought if I'm gonna have this I will really enjoy I will really have fun I will really be very happy that was me before but now I still have this desire but the difference is I know it's coming I don't worry at all and this is very important I am already enjoying and having fun and enjoying or having that feeling even if that material thing or if that even if what I desire has not yet been here physically did you get it like even if I have not touched it or see it yet I am already happy I am already enjoying my journey to you know getting that thing that I want so whether I get it or not doesn't matter because I'm happy <laughs> because what is really our goal is not really to have or acquire these things it's not really that it's actually the feeling of having that when you're having that right i mean the the bottom line or or the very reason why we want a thing is because of the good feeling that we get once we got the thing so why do we need to wait for time to for the thing to arrive what if that thing will you know arrive in 50 years so meaning you will have you will have lived your life you know not being happy or not enjoying because you have not yet got hold of that thing oh my god how tragic it is how tragic or how miserable that life would be <laughs> so what i'm trying to say is you can we can enjoy and have fun uh, even if we don't have yet that thing that we desire so yes my answer in, for Dalton's question if I still have this desire even if I have less of course if I have experienced this bliss of course I do have lots of desires if you just can read my notes I have this like um, I have this box i put there whatever it is i want to you know experience in life and you will be shocked of how you know of how big my desires my dreams are okay of so much dreams and i know that it will come to reality the own and and the only uh thing that i'm going to do to make it possible or to make it into reality is just for me to be happy always that is just the key <laughs> because when i am happy i am you know be, i i can think well i can um i can be i am more i am aligned with the creator with god because happy is high vibration god is always in high vibration so i'm aligned meaning if I am aligned with God, then everything will just fall into place. And all these things will be added unto me if I will just seek to know my who I really am. If I will just seek to enjoy my life. If I will just seek to be happy always. Okay, so guess i have talked a lot already <laughs> delton still has a lots of questions and i'm loving it and so that's why i'm sharing it with you also in the hope that it will help you in your life's journey and so i encourage you to also ask questions please feel free to ask questions or message me if you don't want to you know mention your name because you are helping in one way or another you are helping when you are giving questions the reason why people are not understanding what you are saying because they are not asking questions so if you're not asking questions whatever i say here it's not it's like nonsense to you because you don't have this question we don't have we are not in the same land uh, vibrational frequency okay so but if you ask question then you will understand because you ask then the, the answer will be given right so i also started from there when uh start when i started asking questions about life why i am having this experience and so i was brought to uh, the messengers but through books videos and 
you know, to people that uh, was brought into my life and helped me to understand more about this life journey. I hope you learned something from our question and answer portion with Dalton. <laughs> so again, I'm encouraging you, if you have questions, feel free to message me and let's talk about it. Okay? <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye for now. I love you all.